Good morning. I'm here with Bevan. Uh, we're going to be doing a city walk through Durban CBD, starting here at the Point Waterfront, going down to South Beach to see a couple of apartments, and then onto the Victoria Embankment and up into Glenwood, discussing different strategies from buy to let, flips, uh, holiday accommodation, Airbnb. Um, there's a lot of stuff happening on the beachfront with the promenade upgrade, so we're taking that into account. And then we've just got a couple of the stats and numbers, what different things are selling for. We're going to get on a, a taxi kumbi that we've hired and uh, go through from flat to flat and take it from there. Join us. Join us, yeah. In the future, these are such awesome events where we get to sort of mentor each other and go through each unit, go see, smell, touch the units themselves, see what other investors are doing, what opportunities there are. What, what works, what doesn't work, and it, sharing, and I'm excited about the taxi trip because we'll be forced to network with each other. Normally people get shy and stick to the comfort zone. Where we're in this taxi environment, people are sharing, talking, so, so it's a great opportunity. Make sure you come to any of these future events. Uh, uh, my fault, I, I do a quick look through. Eyes tracking. So slow and it's focus. I thought I was quick enough, but I wasn't so good. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's walking distance to the desert. So the idea here is yeah. for holiday letting, Airbnb yeah. uh, kind of strategy. Yes. Yeah. It's all about coffee. Perfect. It's got swimming pools yeah. and like geared for the holiday maker. You cross the road from the beach and that's where all the common the upgrade is happening. Yeah. Are they going to The next one there for John Ross House. Fantastic. Fifteen people went up there. The objective is that it needs to be perfect, mm. but not perfect is good enough. Mm. So, and we go like, who is our target market, etc. So, right, so, right. so we're not overcapitalizing the space. Mm. Looking at what is acceptable, what is enough, what is going to make sure I keep the place full. Sixteen different tenants in an hour because the demand is so high mm. to come and rent in this building. So this is a one bedroom apartment, so the strategy would be either to flip it because of the condition it's in or renovate it and then multi-let per bedroom together with the parking. The one person might want to visit her. What are you finding so far? You're learning? Yeah, but I'm doing student accommodation. Yeah, not sure. Not in John Ross. No, no, no. Headache. I, I, I know. When's that? When's that? Yes, me. Come by me. I'm a first. I'm a first. From here, we're going up into the Glenwood area to look at a multi let, uh, which is a house. strategy here is multi-let, so the house was purchased, got 10 bedrooms in, and then this was built when I'm standing on the roof, and they have uh, ensuite bedrooms. It was a double plot, so they were able to do both, and the zoning allowed for it. From there, so so in the same, I favour a multi-let over a student accommodation. Just getting back to the point now, so we're wrapping it up. Hope that was useful. Some 
Oh, my piano. You learn lots? Yes. A lot. Awesome. A lot. Excited. Not so scary in the CBD. No. No, 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 no. That's, yeah. Yeah. No, it was good. good. It's very good. It was exceptional. Ex ex yeah. Creative juices flowing. Yeah. And the possibilities that are out there. Yeah. And it's, it's cool.